G'day YouTube, not too much of an update unfortunately this week. I uh, got another 15 battery packs, so I'm just processing them at the moment. Got another, another really good battery pack there. So that'll be one of the, another one of the good ones. Got a couple of cells here that I'm going to post to somebody else. Hopefully they show up in a video somewhere overseas somewhere in the next couple of weeks. But really the reason for this video, I'd like to um, spruik, if you will, a few other channels. Um, I'm really, really enjoying this Powerwall thing and the amount of people that are chiming in and helping and, and, and um, just giving me some encouragement to keep going. Now I'm not going as fast as many people out there, but you know, a life and money and bills and stuff sometimes gets in the way of me doing projects. So this guy is intro into Mike's DIY Powerwall. And if I go to about 30 seconds, I've got this all set up. So it looks semi-professional and those beeps again. Look at this. This boy's building a power wall and that is a shit ton, a metric shit ton of cells. So get on over to his channel and if you can see it there, I'll link it below. It's Mike DIY Powerwall. He's got five subscribers, guys. Come on. He's got 13 views, and this looks like a very cool project. Hit him up. I'll link to this video, because I think this is the first video in his little series. Like and subscribe his channel, guys. You know, it's how I got 500 subscribers by all you guys helping me. So this is my way of helping back. Um, again, we've got Paul Kennett's. I linked to this the other day. Check that out. How cool is that? He's done his own power wall shape, had laser cut. Anyway, Paul Kennett, link below. Check it out. He's doing good things as well. Right, what else have we got to show? Mine. Update on my stuff, I guess. My power wall. This is my, um, this is my idea. Uh, basically, it's 500 wide, 650 high. So it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a little bit bigger than my actual battery bank itself. Um, because I've got to allow, because I've got to put fans and stuff under, which I will show you over there in a minute. Uh, the homebrew power wall, we're having problems with that logo alone, getting it the way I want it to look. But all this will be laser cut into one centimetre thick um, perspex. And then it'll have, around the edges, it'll have um, a reverse bevel cut. So it's sort of facing the front here and the back there. So, so when it gets backlit with white LEDs, it'll throw the light backwards, I hope. It'll also be clear perspex so I can display, make a display model out of my first pack. So that's in that's in its um, infancy, but it's still getting done. Now the actual pack itself for the, the mounting system that I'm having designed, we're in the second prototype stage for that. Um, it's actually being laser cut this week. So it's having one piece of 1.5 or 1.6 millimeter uh, mild steel is being laser cut into the shape um, and then it's four cut it's four folds and it makes the whole unit um, so the the engineer is really putting some thought into mass production and if anybody else wants them to instantly have the price at a price point where it's cost effective uh, mine will be powder coated you can do whatever you want with if you buy one off me I don't know how much they're gonna cost but I can't imagine they're going to be a great deal of money considering the, the, the amount of time and effort the engineers put in. Okay, so the Arduino project. <clears throat> um, I don't know if I suck at it or I just don't understand it or I don't have the time to learn it, but I've completely passed it off to my brother and he's doing a bloody fantastic job. Um, thanks, bro. Now, I don't know if you can see my mouse here, but up the top here, this big green arrow, that's a DC out, so that connects up to the fans. Down along here we've got the resistors that connect up all the temperature probes and here we've got 15 to 30 volt in so I can actually run it from my battery bank so we don't have the um, the inefficiencies of um, transforming the power. So it'll run direct, it'll turn the fans on and off automatically and then we've got that little um, 24 to 12 volt um, uh, step down that will actually run the fans themselves. Okay, so these are my fans, and the fans are 12 volt, 
17 amp, so they go through that step down converter. All ball bearings, so they should be nice and quiet, I hope. Um, so that I don't know how they're going to be, whether they're going to be along the bottom or along the top, and how I'm going to mount them. But I guess I've got to do something first and get the mount made first, and then I can do the add on for these things. Um, I don't know, maybe just get a strap and put it all around the outside and just strap them down and then hold them in the bottom and blow the air up. I don't know. But so those fans there will be hooked up to the Arduino. I've also got little blower type fans that I can actually put in between each of these gaps. Um, but I, again, I don't know how this is going to work or turn out. So that's where we're at with this little project. Ah, one more cool thing. One more cool thing, one more cool thing. I'll try and do all the updates in one hit. We got another gift. Well, it wasn't a gift. Is it a gift if you buy it for yourself? I don't think it is. Okay. I'm not going to take it out of plastic, but I got a crimper for my cables because I want I want the efficiencies to be as as good as I can make them, so I don't lose anything. So I bought a proper crimper so I can crimp and solder every terminal, and it will be as good as it can be. That was only 60 bucks off eBay, so I don't expect it to last out the whole project, but hopefully it does. Well, time will tell. I'm doing do a review on it when it fails and whinge and bitch about it as I do. So that's where we're at. Comment, subscribe and head on to those other two channels, eh? Because there are some good channels out there. And if you've got a good channel, send it over to me. By all means, send it over to me. Send your project over and I will whack it up because I'm a big believer in in um, trying to, you know, it's a community, isn't it? So well, that's where it's at. And if you want something non-battery related to look at, Project Binky. Check that shit out. Some very smart people. Project Binky. Just have a look. I'm not going to tell you what it's about. Head on over and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, YouTube.